I have to complain about it. I've got some good to do you. Get off his neck. Okay, that's fine. He's getting his hand up. Alright. I just want to spend a little while introducing the module, what it's about, and kind of what we're going to be doing over the next 12 weeks, excluding a week or two when I might not be around. Well, won't be around. Look at the module outline itself. Um, what, given that we've got a lousy projector at the moment, it's not doing it properly. You might want to follow the slides on your own uh, on your own screens. Yeah. yeah. Um, the module's called Sustainable Information and Corporate Governance because. Over the last few years, sustainable governance has been quite an important thing. Associated with um, corporate social responsibility, but that's kind of beginning to die, and the commentary is coming out recently that suggests that CSR is no longer relevant, it's never been shown to have any value, and, 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 and. But, organisations do know about governance, the executive, the directors, are very, very clear about some aspects of their responsibilities, their governance of the organization. And from that, le it leads to the idea of information governance. And we'll have a little look at, a bit later on about what we mean by the word governance. But the problem thing is that if we don't do corporate or information governance effectively, then we destroy organisational and shareholder value. We also know that, you remember this from ITSM a couple of years ago, that uh, projects fail, particularly IT projects, with monotonous regularity and with exceedingly high costs to industry and to all of the stakeholders. Um, and in fact, some people have estimated that well, we know that we, have, we typically, as a world, spend something like three trillion dollars on IT and IT products and IT services and so on a year, which is about five percent of world GDP, which is something around about 60, 65 bit trillion dollars. The, there is an interesting range in the scale of estimates of how much failed projects or IT in particular, in all sorts of ways, um, causes problems ranging from somewhere around a half a trillion dollars right through to something like six trillion dollars a year is wasted by IT. In other words, for every pound we spend on IT, we actually reduce our corporate and world pro GDP or productivity by two pounds, which is kind of interesting. According to those metrics, IT is the most value-destroying industry in the world that beats the financial services industry into a cocked hat. You think about how much people claim the credit crunch cost the world. IT does that in about three or four months, <laughs> according to one the, the most extreme estimate. And I can't actually fault it that much. I'll show you the links later on. We know that projects are failing with incredible rates. And you remember the Standish Group reports? Remember those that in 2013, the successful projects were something like about 35, 36, 37% of all projects. Last year, the report showed it dipped to around about 20% were successful. Yeah. So what's going wrong? We know that different various banks have continuous problems with their IT infrastructure that cause us as clients, as uh, account holders, considerable irritation. Costs some people quite a lot. I mean, business opportunities could be lost because the money wasn't there or couldn't be transferred. I was lucky this morning I had to uh, re-apply.
apply for my uh, USA ESTA visa leave and that cost $14 and fortunately it went through okay. If I tried it from home at about midnight the day before I wanted to fly, it would have probably failed. Almost inevitably. IT fails in direct proportion to the importance of the occasion. So if you want to give a demonstration tomorrow morning and it's to the directors of a company, you can almost guarantee that something will go wrong and your demonstration won't work. You come along to see me or Dennis in the last week of December to show us your video or whatever it is that's to be assessed for emerging IT product developments. If you don't have it on your memory stick, it probably won't work from somewhere else, even if it worked on the PC down here in the labs. And so on and so it goes. You know, you've been there, haven't you? We've all been there. So we need to ask ourselves a few questions like, what do we mean by sustainability? What do we mean by governance? Uh, another question is, what's the role of informatics? And we're going to tra attack this new technologies impact thing, both here in this module and also in emerging IT product development. Uh, we'll talk more about that on Wednesday morning. Right and early. We'll be looking at, you know, what are the risks and the costs of failure? Yeah, we've got standard group stuff, but we've got a range of estimates of the costs of failure and the costs of doing things different ways because the systems don't work. We need to be thinking about what needs to be done. Where do we go in the future? How do we, or you, as you go out at the end of this year, out to your jobs, possibly to the companies you did your placements at, maybe, or wherever, and you know, what can, will you be able to do as a, a new employee, effectively a fairly new employee, fairly junior, what can you do while you're like that, what can you do in two or three years time as you begin to progress up the sort of supervisory and managerial levels and have more and more uh, accountability and more and more ability to change things, so what needs to be done? Well, we'll have a look at the module spec. Actually, it's actually one hour and one hour. Um, the rest is sort of available. I'm there to talk if you need me. If you feel that you would like to expand it, we could have the session before lunch, or one of the two sessions before lunch, if you want an extra session. Um, it's kind of there. If we've only got a small number, then we may be able to do it. You maybe feel happy doing it all in the two hours, or you may want one of the, the, the earlier of the two sessions before lunch, perhaps. Blah, 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 do you decide? And the assessment is really a critical evaluation of some sort of case study that you will find um, that will allow you to pull all the things together that you've already learned elsewhere, and the research you're going to be doing week by week, because this is a bit like ITSM, mostly research-based. I shall just give you a short introduction each week, a bit of the context, identify some of the really interesting and rather important and big questions in the context, and then you will do what you did with ITSM, go look for sources to answer your question, and then start applying it into the um, article, which, once again, will be publishable. Um, sorry, Georgia, I still haven't got around being able to. It's the system slightly broke. One of the two passwords I need has, has died, and I need to find time with Dave to get it sorted. Now I'll file them both up, and then you'll have everything there. This, is, this schedule is kind of about right. A couple of them, um, I shan't be around, because I've got a couple of conferences last week of <coughs> um, October, first week of November with about three days here in the UK between them. And so you'll be able to look at last year's videos and uh, sort of see what the questions are and work your way through them. And then there's a little list of some sources that might be interesting, might be valuable. Did you actually last year get yourself 
council signed up to a load of the or the year before these resources you get their daily or weekly emails try and see you just get a filter set up in your email just sort of shunt it sideways into sets of folders because um, then you'll, you, you will then be just acquiring them, keeping them out of your main folder, if you're in, in basket, in box. Um, and then, you know, when you want to go and do a bit of sort of research to see what ZD Netta said or whoever, there's, you've got some quite a lot of good sources. I've got stuff back for five, six, seven, eight years on my home email account. And it kind of works out quite well. But what I want you to do now is to look for some definitions of sustainability. And then, in pairs or thereabouts, twos or threes, um, kind of compare your ideas, compare your thoughts about these definitions of what sustainability is. And then the second question is about governance. Again, you could look for Wikipedia sort of one, just this once. I don't want you to use Wikipedia normally, but it gives some interesting thoughts. But also look for some academic sources about governance, as also with sustainability, look for academic sources as well as the popular definitions. And then when you finish that, um, so we'll, we'll do the sustainability first for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we will do the governance one. Okay, and then at the end of each set of little discussions, we'll have a sort of a group discussion to sort of wrap it all up.